The next page is where we're going to start talking about uh, correlation coefficient. So there's a little short uh, connection here, a uh, website connection, that you can kind of investigate a little bit about the correlation. And there's a little slider on there, and I want you to think about what do you notice, what do you wonder, how does the correlation value change, and how is it related to the line of best fit. So if we open that up in Safari, the link that is there, uh, we get this picture here. Notice there's a scatter plot, and right now the scatter plot doesn't have a particular pattern. I want you to notice that the correlation along with that pattern up here on the left is considered to be zero. Okay, But you can drag this slider and you'll notice that as you go to the left, the points start to line up more. They start to become more linear until we get all the way over and they're all perfectly on the line and our correlation is negative one. As you slide over to the right, notice that the points become scattered again and then as you they start to come together into a pattern that correlation moves to the positive side and when they're perfectly lined up but the line is sloping in the positive direction the correlation becomes positive one all right so you know what do you notice what do you wonder it's talking about a little bit of that so you can kind of play with this a little bit and kind of see how that changes there's some more detail on this page as well and you can certainly read it but I just want you at right, for right now to notice how that correlation value changes as it relates to how those scatter plot points line up or don't line up. Okay. So the correlation coefficient, and this is some important um, reading right here, kind of talks exactly through what uh, correlation or R value is. Correlation coefficient is the same as the R value. So the correlation coefficient, denoted R, is the measure of how well the collection of data points can be modeled by a line. Notice that the correlation is between negative 1 and 1. The closer the correlation coefficient is to 1 or negative 1, the less scattered the points are and the stronger the relationship. Only data points on the scatter plot which are perfectly are on a perfectly straight line can have r is equal to negative one or one. So if they're perfectly on a line and the line has a negative slope, that's when you have a correlation coefficient of negative one. That's called a perfect negative correlation. So that would have been if we were looking at the points over here. So the perfect negative correlation is when the points are lined up on the line and the line is sloping in a negative direction. So it's going down from left to right. The opposite is true when the, the points are perfectly on a line and the line is sloping in the positive direction from left to right. All right. So that's the opposite side over here is if you have a perfect positive sloping line where all the points line up on the line and it's in a positive sloping direction, then that is going to be a correlation coefficient of positive one. So the closer it is to negative one or positive one, the more linear it is. The only difference between negative one and one is negative one, you have a negative linear slope, and positive one, you have a positive linear slope. If it looks like there's really no pattern at all, that's when you're going to have a correlation coefficient close to zero. So here's an example down below of negative correlation, no correlation, and positive correlation. Now, none of these three graphs are perfectly linear, either in a negative or positive direction. But we do see in the first one that is comparing um, two variables that it is generally sloping in a negative direction. And it is loosely linear. So as x is going up, as x is increasing, y is decreasing. And the points are kind of lining up into a line with a negative slope. So uh, maybe we could be thinking about, for instance, like uh, what if this was speed of a car? And time to get home. Okay. So the speed of the car, as, you, as the car speeds up, it's going to take less time to get home. So that would be an example of a negative correlation. 
the faster you drive. Let's say your car. The less time it takes to get home. So that would be an example of a negative correlation that's going to be closer to that correlation coefficient of negative one. All right. Um, and then the middle one, we don't really have any particular pattern here. There's no real positive pattern, negative pattern. There's just no, there's no pattern or obvious trend. So think about a situation in which there really isn't a relationship. There really isn't a connection between the two. Um, there's many you might be able to come up with. Let's say the x-axis represents toppings on your pizza. And let's say the y-axis is hours spent doing homework. Is there a connection between the toppings on your pizza and the hours spent homework? So if each one of these is a student who has a certain number of toppings that they like on their pizza and how many hours they spent doing homework, you'd be like, well, how, did the, how are those even connected? How is that? Well, they're not. That's the whole point, All right? There's, no, there's not going to be a trend there unless there's something I'm missing. The number of toppings on your pizza is not correlated or connected to the amount of hours you do homework. So this word correlation is kind of like the word we used at the beginning of the unit called association. And it's essentially, are they connected together? Is there a connection? Is there a connection? Is one related to the other? Does one affect the other? That's really what we're talking about with the correlation here. All right, and then we have a positive correlation. So positive correlation means that the points are generally lining up into a pattern, and it's um, a fairly linear pattern, and it's sloping in a more of a positive direction. So as x increases, as the x value increases, so does the y value. And so we have a positive sloping line. Um, let's think about something that could have a positive correlation, maybe minutes exercising. and say calories burned all right so the more minutes you exercise the more calories you will burn there's definitely a connection between the two. As one goes up, so does the other. Um, so that could be an example. There are many, many examples that you could come up with for um, two things that are positively correlated like this. Um, those are three examples of one that's negative, one that's none, no correlation, and uh, one that is positive correlation. And hopefully that makes some sense.